ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports, presents the youth of America doing their best. This is Scholastic Sports America. Hi there, thanks for joining us here on SSA. I'm Melissa Stark. One of the greatest things about this show is we take you to all different areas of the country and give you an up-close look at certain sports that evoke a unique passion from its local fans, like hockey in Boston, basketball in Indiana. And if you come to Baltimore, Maryland, it doesn't get much bigger than competing for the high school state title in the game of lacrosse. The athleticism of a basketball player to make the difficult shots when you when you have to alter your shot or your pass, it, it combines with the speed and the uh, the intensity and the, and, and the hitting of uh, football. I came here to win a championship and we we made it there sophomore year and got crushed, and then uh, we lost in the semifinals last year. So it'll be it'll be the perfect way to end, I think. You know, you think about your wedding day, I don't know, you think about the birth of a child or something like that, and, and they're all individual things, and this is a defining moment that's a team thing, and that's pretty special. One game, 22 seniors, with the chance to be called the best high school lacrosse team ever in the state of Maryland. If we beat Loyola, a lot of people are saying we're the best team ever, and I don't know how you can compare teams now to teams back then, but that's what they're saying in the papers here. It's going to be a real fast game. It's going to be a fast-paced game. They're going to want to slow it down a little bit. I think we're a little faster. You know, their whole team, our whole team, we're just going to play a hard game. Rarely does just one game signify so much. The end of one era and simultaneously the start of something new, athletically and personally. On May 16th, that was the case for the young men from Boys Latin in Baltimore. It's a closing of, I think, like the first part of my life, really. I think I think this game is it's a huge closing. I mean, now we'll all go on to college, and I think everybody's going to have real good careers. Welcome to Homewood Field on the campus of Johns Hopkins University. All the marbles on the line tonight: the Lakers of Boys Latin in white versus the Dons of Loyola in blue. Patrick behind the net, moves forward, finds a crease, he shoots, he scores. John Glatzel up top, held at bay, finds Ryan Mollett. Mollett beats his man, goes low to the floor, he scores! Most of this senior group has played together since the sixth grade. This was their last game as one team. Thirteen are heading on to play for Division I colleges. Lacrosse had helped shape their history, and for each, it would still play a role in the future, no matter what it may hold. I want to be an architect. I, uh, I've always loved drawing and drafting and doing things like that, and mechanical drawing. Um, it's interesting. I, uh, my mom's into it, and um, I just want to be an architect. And I'm going to the University of Virginia and hopefully study architecture. This is uh, Towson Sports Medicine or uh, Towson Orthopedic Associates. And um, what I do here basically is uh, people of all ages come in here, and they, um, they work on rehabbing their s surgeries. Today I've seen pinched nerve. I um, also saw a case yesterday with a lady who had scleroderma, which uh, tightens your muscles and your tendons, and you're unable to even to grip your hand, make a fist to your hand. It was pretty, uh, pretty gruesome. So I, I just basically observed injuries. Ulrich cradling, looking to find a cutter. He does. It's Patrick. He shoots. He scores. Shore on the far side. He likes to go one on one from here. He does so. He cuts back to the middle, lets it fly. It's a goal. Ian Shore. And the Lakers are in command. The play sound fundamental across. And that's concentration and execution. You understand me? Coach Shriver is known for his intensity, and he was skeptical that much of the pregame hype would affect his players. He was cordial but concerned that we, ESPN, would distract the team. But after 24 minutes of play, his worst fears had been set aside. The Lakers were up by five goals. Hey, listen to me, you guys. This next 24 minutes is a defining moment of your athletic careers, and I mean Let's play hard. Coach had his lead, but it started to shrink. The Dons were making a comeback. Come on, you got a guy open. A five-goal lead had shrunk to two. The Lakers were still winning, however. It was the game Baltimore was expecting them to win. Local media had tagged Boys Latin as the team to beat all year. Sports Illustrated had profiled midfielder Greg Patchett, and they may soon be featured on the cover of a Cheerios box in response to a new ad campaign by General Mills. What happens if you guys win tomorrow night? What do you do? 
we'll be undefeated, and hopefully, I guess, we'll be the mythical national champion. So uh, that's something to look forward to, but still, we got to get there first. Ian Shore again looks like he wants to go solo. Right through the crease, he shoots over his head. He made it. It's a goal. Ian Shore, second of the game. Bolt Hopkins, number eight in the game for Coach Driver. He's looking to take it one on one. He gets a step, dives for the crease. It's a goal for Hopkins. That should seal it for the Lakers. 13 to eight with two minutes to go. They have done it. 13 to eight. Boys Latin the winner. Congratulations. They had done what they set out to do, a perfect season complete. They're state champs in Maryland. Not a bad way for 22 seniors, best friends, to say goodbye, to leave the boys' Latin school. This is perfect. I've, I've dreamed about this since, since I started playing lacrosse. It's, it's a perfect way to end. Well, they didn't let the pressure get to them. Congratulations, boys' Latin, the Maryland state lacrosse champs. Well, we are just getting I think the heart, the heart, the will to win. Who's in the hole, defense? Somebody's got to be in the hole. And the will to win has been evident this year, with the Lakers going undefeated through the regular season. But for this team, that isn't enough. In past seasons, these Lakers have had problems in the postseason. But this year, there was a different kind of dedication. Before the season, we all got together, and we just we really said, you know, this is it. We're going to have some rules for the season. We're going to really, you know, dedicate ourselves this season. And, uh, and for, you know, a lot of us, this is the best team we're ever going to be on. And uh, we want to go out with a bang, and that's what we're all hoping for. But to go out with a bang takes more than just talent, which this team has plenty of. With 13 players going to Division I schools on the cross scholarship, you think there might not be enough lacrosse balls to go around. But this team has come together. We've just come together so much, and everyone's just put so much emotion into this season and just put everything on the line just to, you know, pull it out for our school and for ourselves. And, yeah, so, I mean, the hearts, is, I mean, we couldn't put anything else in, any more into it than we have, you know. If, you know, no matter how this thing ends up, you know, I'm going to feel, everyone's going to feel great, you know, even no matter what the outcome is because we've done everything we can. So the time has come to see if the heart, blood, Sweat and tears will all pay off in an undefeated championship season. A season of dreams, a dream of a life. I've about this since my first first time I watched the BL game when I think I was in third grade. Uh, bring it back to BL, just, you know, just be a part of the MIA championship team. It's just it's like there's nothing else. I mean, this is, we all know this is the time of our lives, and it doesn't get any better than this. Well, for Boys Latin, it did. A championship, undefeated, and a season to remember. Congratulations to the boys. Okay, now, enjoy the summer, and to all of you going on to play in college, good luck. Except again... Well, the high school lacrosse playoffs don't get underway until next week. But it would be hard to believe anyone but Boys Latin winning a championship. The Lakers have dominated the local ranks this year. And as Steve Davis reports, many of them will be expanding their horizons next fall. You're looking at a great team of college lacrosse players. Now, the thing that makes it so impressive is that they're all still in high school. Just how good is Boys Latin? Well, the entire starting lineup will be playing in college next year. All told, 10 starters and three reserves will play at the Division I level. Schools like Maryland, Princeton, Duke, and Virginia. I'm fairly sure that there's been some teams, you know, that have had that many kids spread out, you know, sophomores, juniors, seniors, that will eventually go and play Division I. But, you know, I think for one group of guys to go on and play Division I lacrosse, this is pretty unique. The Lakers have absolutely dominated their opponents so far this season, cruising to a 14-0 record. But next year, a lot of these guys will be wearing different uniforms, facing off against friends that they've been playing with since their early teens. We joke about how we'll be playing against each other, how different it will be. Some of us have been playing together for six, seven years, and it's going to be really different going to college and playing against your best friend. It's tough to say one player here is better than any of the others, but the one receiving the most recognition right now is Greg Pacek, who's headed to Duke next year. How about this for an honor? Greg is singled out in this week's Sports Illustrated as the high school athlete of the week. But this is just, this is astronomical. I, I just don't believe it. I really don't. 
it just blows my mind that I'm in this. I can't even imagine it. It's like, it's like, I don't even think it's Sports Illustrated. I think it's like, you know, a magazine for just for promoting lacrosse. Sports Illustrated is great. Winning a state championship would be even better. Steve Davis, Fox 45, News at 10. Quite a team. And we end with congratulations tonight to Boys Latin, who wrapped up really just a brilliant, brilliant season by winning the state lacrosse championship over at Hopkins. Lakers taking on Loyola. All-American Greg Pacek wheels and fires to put Latin on the board first. Loyola wasn't about to roll over and play dead, though. Pat Jackson uses the turf, and the game is all even. Then the Lakers got on a roll and just could not be stopped. Ian Schur with a sure shot. What a story tonight. Boys Latin wins this game 13-8. You wonder why they're happy? They finished the season undefeated. Congratulations, 17 and 0. One of the great seasons in Maryland lacrosse, one of the great teams. NBA play. They go here. MIAAA Conference Championship. Unbeaten, the number one ranked boys Latin against the Dons of Loyola. Ryan Mollett for BL in close shoot scores. Loyola got within two goals in the third quarter, but that was as close as they got. BL, Holt Hopkins. Spinning, diving, falling, shooting, scoring, 13 to 8. Boys Latin, a winner. They finished their season 17 wins and no losses, and they are the MIAAA Division Champions. Finally tonight, conference championship game tonight. Hopkins, uh, the host of the action. Uh, Boys Latin and Loyola. Lakers rule, says the sign. Nice crowd out there. BL and White. Greg Patrick shoots and scores. He had four goals and gave BL the early lead. BL's Ryan Millette, nice move, and he shoots and scores 7-1 at this point. Boys Latin wins the title 13-8, and what a year for BL. They finish 17-0. We'll see you tomorrow morning from Old Hilltop. Old Hilltop.